I, I think we all know what B2B is and even B2B2C as marketers, but we're now building strategies that are B2C to C, brand to creator to community. And there's been this strategic shift from brands as creators and messengers to individuals, people as creators and distribution channels. And I think Web3 is going to enhance this, but the idea of the creator economy as a holistic concept means that people are the brands now, and they're going to work with purposeful companies in ways that help advance marketing communications benefits to different audiences. And everyone's looking for that connection with creators uh, to resonate with their audience and represent a brand in a way that's personal and meaningful and desirable and fun. But it has to be done over a longer period of time than we're thinking about now. There is legitimacy in longevity. It breeds loyalty. Now, brands think about campaigns for their communities, which is right. But there's an aspect of the long game here that I think is being overlooked. The life cycle marketing and uh, CRM as a mindset means planning long-term relationships with creative agencies and partners and even, yes, influencers. These influencer-led collaborations for the most part over the last decade have been project-based, one and done. But that's starting to change and brands need to embrace a almost like a retainer-like mindset when it comes to influencer partners. And that's especially true as these creators become brands themselves.